So Storm does not have any official support for Udims. And since we are working with this car, which is textured with a lot of Udims, uh, I had to figure that out. And uh, one way you can do it is to create a new Storm material, create a multi-text, and in that, load multiple bitmaps, go into the folder where you have all your Udims, select the ones you want, click OK, and you have all the UDM textures in here and they will be applied to material ID. In the best world, you would have a UDIM selection here, but you don't currently. So for now, this is what we have to do. And if I now apply this to my car body, you will see that it doesn't really work very well. And that is because the textures are obviously applied to material IDs and not UDIM tiles. So if we select the body and we Oops, add a UVV unwrap and open the UV editor. We can see the different UDIM tiles. So this is tile number 1001, 1002, 1003. This is 1011, 1012, and so on. But all of these have different, uh, have the same ID currently. So what, what I could technically do is to go and select all of these, it takes a little while to, to select, and set this to ID number one. And then go to the next tile, select all of these, set this to ID number two, and do that for every tile until you are done with all the 15 tiles. And then you have to do that for all other objects in the scene as well that use UDIM tiles. So this is a very time consuming process. So I made a little script. Now all you have to do is to find my script, drag and drop it into 3ds Max, then go to customize, customize user interface, toolbars, find, visguru, and drag and drop, this one here, you select your object. Oh, it actually ran it. When I drag and dropped it, it actually ran the script. So that's why it took a bit of time. But now if I, uh, let's say I assign material ID one to all of these parts again. So all I have to do is to click the button up here now, convert Udon tiles to material IDs. And it may take a few seconds. First, it took like, it actually crashed max because it was just so unoptimized. So in order to optimize the script to make it fairly quick was to Partly, the undo history is being removed. You cannot undo this. So that's something you should think about when you are running the script. You are killing your undo history. But you are saving a lot of time. So, you know, all I have to do now is to add a multi-tile for reflections and stuff as well. And uh, that will be for another video. I just wanted to show you how this works. So, um, yeah, happy uh, Udim tiling, I guess.